I am a weirdo in this society. And and I realize that. Um, when I see someone on the street, for instance, someone just walked by and their hands are full of stuff and they're walking to a destination. Obviously, like where else do people walk? <laughs> okay, all that aside. They're walking with their hands full. And my first reaction is, I should offer to help them. I should pull up in my car and offer to give them a ride to wherever they need to go. Maybe it's a block away. Maybe it's just down the block. They're walking to their car or something. Maybe it's still six blocks out. Maybe they they got half a mile to walk and I'm not doing anything. And I'm filming a thing. Like I, I can offer someone a ride. Uh, but that makes me a weirdo. <laughs> because people who pull up to you in a car and they're like, hey, do you want to get in? <laughs> All jokes about like Uber aside and, and, and whatnot and how that's developed. And uh, we were kids told to never get in cars with strangers. Now that's what we do. We order a stranger on a phone to pick us up. All jokes of that aside, we're, we're told to never get in cars with strangers. We're, that's threatening as uh, creepy uh, <laughs> I don't know like if someone pulled up to me and was like hey do you need a ride get in the car I'd be like that's okay I uh I appreciate it but eh, I'll just keep walking <laughs> so I realize how strange it is I realize how weird it is I realize that I'm a weirdo but it's coming from a place of care it's coming from a place of, of like I should help them. It's someone struggling. I can help. I'm going to help. But you can't really communicate that. Like, what do you do? Like, like put in your eyeballs? Like, I'm here to help you. Now, now you're just a drug addict. <laughs> like, you can smile a lot. But if you ever force a smile, like... <laughs> doesn't work it doesn't work so you it's it's hard to do in the face you can go totally zen on it right you go zen on it and you're just like i will ground myself i will breathe deeply breathe into my pelvic floor i'm gonna be calm i'm gonna imagine a sun a burning star in my center and it's filled with love and radiance and acceptance and tolerance and everyone can see this light inside me and I'm grounded, and I will talk to them. Hello, person carrying the stuff. Let me help you. <laughs> and they'll be like, it, it's a Keanu Reeves wannabe. Uh, please step away from me, or I'll call the cops. <laughs> I admittedly, every time I've ever offered help to anyone, They've either accepted it or told me, no, thank you. And never in this fashion. It's always like, can I get the door for you? Or like uh, in the laundromat or something. You're like, hey, uh, could I help you move that? Because they're like old or, or something, right? It's something super benign and you would think it's normal. Because <laughs> the first example that I've given is clearly not. <laughs> But I, I don't know. I don't know what that comes from. Is it from spending a lot of time around my grandparents growing up? Maybe. Maybe. They're super helpful people. Is it... Like, is it D&D &D alignment stuff? Do I have some part of me that's, that's uh, on the good alignment chart? I was going to say lawful good, but then I was thinking like Spider-Man. Spider-Man's not lawful good. He, he helps people out all the time. So maybe that's it. Oh my gosh. Thank you, YouTube. You helped me figure it out. I need to put on a costume and walk around to offer people aid and fight crime. But we've seen how that turns out, okay? Kick-Ass did a really good job of, of showing this. Uh, you get stabbed a lot. So yeah, that's what I got to do. Got to fight some crime. I don't know. This is weird. I'm wondering, oh, I'm trying to think of any other stories that make me kind of a weirdo in society. And there's plenty, excuse me, there's plenty, but uh, can't think of any right now. How should I go about this?
how should I fix my desire to help people? Uh, <laughs> Cause right now all I do is go, well, that might be creepy. Maybe don't do that. But I feel like I'm like, like strangling a unicorn. I'm not calling myself the unicorn. I mean the desire to help someone. I feel like, like this is a good thing. You're trying to offer support to another human being. And I'm like, how do I kill that? It doesn't make any sense. Everything I do is because I want people to help other people. Because I want people to help themselves. To, So, I mean, by that same statement, should I just let the person walk with the heavy thing? And it, let's rephrase that a little bit. Should I just let them go by without offering them aid while they're carrying a heavy thing? Makes it sound like I'm giving them permission We've talked about that in the previous video. I'm going to let you. <laughs> I will let you continue walking. Anyway, if you've got any kind of suggestion for how to fix this, how to make it more publicly acceptable, how to... How can I help people without making them think I want to put them in my basement? <laughs> any help, greatly appreciated. Thank you very much. Bye. And if I may